We got a video, Tyler. Right now? Right now. You can say you want to do this. Come on. I need you to sit down. Okay. Okay, it's long overdue. The fans Wait. are waiting. What, what, what am I doing here? We're going to have a question and answer today. Wait, so this is a YouTube video? Yep. Oh, hold on. First YouTube video. Okay, hold on one sec. Okay. You want to do a little intro for the fans now? Sure. For your first YouTube video? Okay. All right, I'm ready. <clears throat> hi, my name is Tyler Bray. Wait, do I want to say manager Ty or like Tyler Bray? Yeah, man. Okay, hi, my name is Tyler Bray. Just, this is my first YouTube video, okay? Why'd you, why'd you just walk through the back now? Hey, guys. <laughs> okay. Huh? What are you going to do ready to film? Uh, like right now, I guess. Real quick, I have to film for NSB. So we have some good news. We're confirmed for the Philippines! Yeah! Finally, I can start. Um, some of you guys know me as Manager Ty, and I guess this is going to be my very first YouTube video. Boys, Yo, what's up, man? Hi. <sighs> Cut all of that out, right? Like we can. Yeah, we'll work around it. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Well, boy, I need my jacket because you know it's kind of like on brand thing. No, no, I got, I got you. Oh, you got me. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, so hopefully there are no more distractions, but as you can see, this is my life. I'm Tyler Bray. Most of y'all probably know me as manager Ty, manager of North Star Boys. And I've been trying for so long to start a YouTube channel, but I just don't know how to start it. So Nick here is just basically making sure I film a YouTube video and post a YouTube video today. So here I am. Nice to meet you. This is the last interruption, I promise. The reason why I make these videos is to, number one, inspire the youth with business and everything that I'm doing, but also I want to raise awareness to some of the things, issues that are happening in today's world. What I want to be talking about today, sitting in front of these beautiful flowers, is deforestation and share you some statistics and maybe what you and I can do to help out. Did you know that 80% of amphibious species, 75% of bird species, and 68% of mammal species are found in tropical forests? So forests, trees, plant life in general really is the home to a lot of our favorite animals. And we really need to do our best to take care of that. From 2015 to 2020, the average rate of deforestation is approximately 10 million hectare acres per year. That is not good at all. So I want to share with you some of the things we're doing here at NSP. We're starting a boba tea company called Moon Tea. And for every dollar that we make, we're actually planting a tree. So that's what we're doing to help out deforestation. And some of the things that you guys can do as well is I'm going to provide some links and you can click on those links. You can donate, you can help. Also, you know, plant your own trees, you know, plant your own plants. Maybe you can't plant a tree, but maybe plant your own plants, plant your own flowers and really just help take care of the environment. Nick, I'm not sure exactly how you want this done, but I'm here for you and I'm here for our viewers here. So just let's okay, go. Yeah. So first question. What made you want to start a business when you were younger? Okay, that's a great question. Um, my stepdad, at the time, my mom had just moved in with my stepdad, took me with her from Dallas, Texas to Madisonville, Texas in the middle of nowhere. And I was attending this new school and he was an entrepreneur himself. He runs a big manufacturing business. And he told me, like, Tyler, if you want a lifestyle similar to the way that we're living right now, because I was embellished by these new luxuries, he was like, you can't necessarily go the path that everybody else takes. How can I be different if I'm taking the same track as everybody else? No, I want to pave my own way. So he said, I'm willing to mentor you, but if you're going to do it, you have to be all in. So you have to drop out of school. But I had to write like an essay, two page essay as to why I want to do it, what I would do and all of that good stuff. But the biggest thing for me was I've always had an internal yearning to be different, leave a legacy, create an impact for others. And I feel like this was my way of straying away from the crowd and doing my own thing and taking that risk. Next question is, what is one thing you will never do again? What is one thing, that's a great question. Um, one thing that I will never do again. I guess I'll talk about the first thing that pops up in my head and I'll be honest um, about this answer is allow others to distract me from what I truly want. Girls, for example, when I was younger, around 18 years old, I let girls get in the way of my passion. I let distractions such as video games and things of that nature distract me from achieving my goals. And even today, I still, there's just. As far as managing goes, what are some good techniques to consider when you have multiple individuals you're managing or what has worked for you and the team so far? Okay. So in management, what is important? This is what I always say. Reggie. 
interpersonal skills. As broad as that may sound, I feel like you have to be a very likable person. <laughs> so I hope you guys can hear me. But here's the thing. I think that you have to be a very likable person in general. Um, you have to understand how people feel, what drives them. Alignment is super important to me. Are your goals aligned with theirs? Do you understand their goals? Do you understand what motivates them? And I feel like every person is different, so you can't just say this is exactly how you manage a specific you know, person or generalized group of people. I feel like you have to know every single person individually, and that takes time. I've sat down with Reggie, Kane, I've sat down with all my employees and understood exactly what it is that they really want. Um, and just aligning my vision and the company's vision with their personal goals. Because it only makes sense if we're all going like this to a North Star. Yeah. Okay. What is your motto in life? Motto? Yeah. My, my motto in life, super easy. Everything happens for a reason. If you truly believe that everything happens for a reason, there is no really bad things that could happen. Because the way that I see it, even if it's considered something bad that happens, it's either a lesson or it's leading me to something that's even better than where I'm at now. So if I have that outlook on life, I feel like you just take over the world because if something bad happens, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna learn from this and be stronger. Or this is gonna lead me into something even more beautiful and I don't even know it yet. It might take a year, two days, a decade, whatever it takes, but I know that there's a plan for me and I know that something better is going to be in front of me. What do you enjoy doing when you have free time? What do I enjoy doing when I have free time? I enjoy singing and making music. Um, in fact, you know, being a manager of a group of artists and content creators, Oliver actually helped me get into music production and creation. I've always been into singing. myself I was vocalist in the past but just making music in general and creating this beautiful art that people can resonate with and relate to through the sound of you know basically vibrations I think that's a beautiful thing and I just love sitting in my room and just thinking of song ideas what would you tell your young self if you had the chance enjoy every moment I feel like even today I get caught up in the future too often I don't normally get caught up in the past, but sometimes I try to think too far into the future. And sometimes that hinders my ability to really live in the present day and enjoy the moment in general. So something that I still remind myself today and something that I'll remind myself in the future. What is a goal you want to accomplish by 2023? A goal I want to accomplish by 2023. The first thing that comes to mind is I want all of my boys I feel like a dad saying this, but I want everybody in this world to when they see one of my boys' faces, and even mine honestly, they're like, you know what, I've seen them before, I know them, I like them. They're doing amazing things, they inspire me. What's something you've always wanted to do but have been too scared to do? Get into a long-term relationship. <laughs> um, I'm so married to my businesses, um, my passions, my ventures um, that I have not allowed myself to embark on a romantic journey and commit to a romantic partner. And I'm 24, I feel like I'm getting older and quite honestly, just to be a little bit vulnerable, um, I feel like if I don't ever make time for it, I'm never gonna find a true love, I guess. But uh, it is scary, I would say it's scarier than anything that I've done to allow myself to do that and allow a um, intentional, hopefully good distraction. Can you speak Thai? Put pasat Thai pen cup. A person who keeps you motivated. My mother. My mother is the strongest woman that I know. She helped basically raise me by herself. What made you realize you wanted to be a manager of the boys? I never even realized I wanted to be a manager of the boys, and I guess every day I, I second guess myself. But uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, I didn't go to school, nor did I set my personal goals to become a manager of an artist slash content creator group. Oliver and I had met, and long story short, we hit it off. A few months later, he came to me with the idea of NSP, and I fell in love with the idea because he said the purpose and the vision was to inspire Asian Americans and others around the world. So. I might have already said this, but I'm Tyler Bray. Some of you may know me as Manager Ty, manager of the North Star Boys. North Star Boys is a content creator group as well as a... <laughs> as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you want to follow, because I will be planning on posting more videos. I know Nick is going to make me post and film so many more videos for you guys. Um, but yes, I know that um, every YouTuber has a little thing that they call their fans or their viewers, right? Like uh, Logan Paul has his Mavericks, um, I believe. I don't really watch too much YouTube, but I would love for you guys to come up with a name. Kane has candy canes, for example. So come up with the name for me, for y'all. And uh, yeah, I really, at the end of the day, I hope you either find some value or entertainment in watching my videos. And please leave a comment down below and give me some critiques. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know maybe some things that I can improve on. And uh, I hope that you enjoy and can follow me on this journey of manager Ty slash Tyler Bray. I'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Tyler Bray and uh, some people Ty. Hey, um, sorry, I don't know what you're doing, but Reggie's stuck in the washing machine. I really need you to help me take him out. What? Don't ask why, don't ask questions. Look, we just need to <sighs> okay. okay? One second. Hey! We're free.